Turner and I travelled through Europe for a year when we were very young. We did some cool things, we met some cool people. But after a year, I decided to head back home and Nathan stayed on. Now I knew he would be all right. <laughs> he sounded like he was living the dream. And another year later was the first time I heard about this Kelly. Now no one was happier than I when Kelly met Nathan. I mean, after all the years of the phantom girlfriends he'd spoken about, <laughs> this one actually existed. <laughs> and when I met Kel, this tall South African blonde beauty with an incredibly fun personality. I thought to myself, my friend Nathan, really? <laughs> I love Kelly for always being so upbeat and cheerful. In fact, she has only one failure. Why do you have to live so far away in sunny Australia? I speak for us all when I say we're delighted to be here today. Say goodbye to Miss Armstrong, a friend as loving and loyal as she is long and to say hello to the new Mrs. Turner. We have gone back a long way, my friend. Nearly 20-something years. And I can honestly say you are one of the best blokes I've ever met. We've had some excellent times together, and I know we will continue doing so in the future. You both are lucky to have found each other. You're absolutely perfect for one another. Today, it's all about tomorrow. Tomorrow you're my wife, and the day after that, the day after that, and when I ask you to marry me, it's all I ever wanted. I want it tomorrow, and I can't wait to wake up in the morning and tell you that you're my wife and I love you. And here we are now in the beautiful wine region of South Africa with wonderful people, new friends and family. It's amazing how love can gather from all across the globe and be so very present in one room.